Hello everyone. Today we'll be taking a look at the 3.3 volt linear voltage regulator of the MCP700 series by Microchip. There are many regulators in this series providing different levels of voltage regulation at the output. You can find regulators with output voltage ranging from 1.2 volt to 5 volt. The one with an output voltage of 3.3 volt has the manufacturing part number MCP700-3302E. I pulled up the MCP700 datasheet here and this is the functional block diagram. The regulator has three pins, input, ground and output pin. A CMOS field effect transistor is connected between the input and output pin of the regulator. When we apply power to the V in pin, current passes through the transistor to the V out pin. So the voltage drop across the transistor will be the voltage drop across the regulator. The CMOS fed operates in linear mode and behaves like a voltage control variable register, which means the drain to source resistance RDS can be changed by controlling the gate voltage of the CMOS fed. This circuitry down here senses variations in input and output voltages of the regulator and changes RDS accordingly. By changing RDS, the drop across the MOSFET is being adjusted to keep output voltage constant under all operating conditions. So in steady state, the linear regulator behaves like a simple register and voltage drop across the regulator is given by the difference between input and output voltage of the regulator. To use this device in your project, you will just need two 1 microfarad ceramic capacitors, one at the input and another at the output. If you face the flat side of the IC package, the middle pin will be the input pin. The pin on the right side of the middle pin will be the V out pin and the pin on the left will be the ground pin. Here I have implemented the application circuit in breadboard. Here I'm supplying power from the 5 volt output pin of an LM7805 IC to the input pin of the MCP700 regulator. No load is connected to the MCP700 regulator and here we're getting 3.3 volt at the output pin. Besides being a linear voltage regulator, the MCP700 is also known as LDO or Low Dropout Voltage Regulator. Dropout voltage of an LDO regulator is lower compared to a standard linear regulator. For example, dropout voltage of a standard linear regulator can be as high as 2 volts whereas many LDO regulators have dropout voltage around 200 mV only. Dropout voltage is an indicator of how close your input voltage can be to the output voltage. It is the minimum differential voltage required across the regulator without which the device cannot maintain voltage regulation. If a 3.3 volt regulator has 1 volt dropout voltage for a certain output current, then the input voltage to the regulator should be at least 4.3 volt. Choosing an LDO regulator over a standard linear regulator lets you use lower input voltages for your application. If your project is powered by batteries, then this will mean you can use less number of battery cells in series. Using lower input voltages also results in lower power losses in the regulator because power loss is proportional to the difference between input and output voltage of the regulator. Let's check out some DC parameters from the device datasheet. Input voltage, minimum value 2.3 volt, maximum 6 volt. 2.3 volt is not the minimum input voltage for the 3.3 volt regulator. This is a bundle datasheet and this input voltage range is for all the regulators in the MCP700 series. As discussed before, for the 3.3 volt regulator, minimum input voltage will be 3.3 volt plus dropout voltage. Here in note 1, there is a more precise equation for calculating minimum input voltage. In this equation, along with dropout voltage, they also added maximum variation in voltage regulation to the output voltage of the regulator. Moving on to the next parameter, input quiescent current. Typical value for input quiescent current for this regulator is 1.6 microamp. Let's go back to the functional block diagram to discuss more about quiescent current. When we apply power to the V-in pin, most of the current passes through the transistor to the V-out pin. 
but a very small amount of current is drawn by the regulator to run its internal circuitry. This current is called quiescent current. So the input current is equal to output current plus quiescent current. But since the quiescent current is very small, we can ignore it and say that the input current is equal to output current. Next parameter is maximum output current and it's T50 milliamp for the 3.3 volt regulator. And here in the output voltage regulation row, we can see that there can be a plus minus 3% discrepancy in voltage regulation. Moving on to the parameter dropout voltage. Typical value of dropout voltage is 178 millivolt for 250 milliamps of upper current. Here in note 5, they also said how they measured the dropout voltage. So what they did is for the 3.3 volt regulator, they started with the input voltage of 4.3 volt while drawing 250 milliamps of upper current. Then they kept lowering the input voltage until there was a 2% drop in the output voltage. The difference between input and output voltage at this point is the dropout voltage. 178 millivolt is the dropout voltage for maximum output current. If you are drawing less than maximum output current, the dropout voltage will be lower than 178 millivolt. For a particular application setup, internal power dissipation of the regulator can be found using equation 6-1. Since quiescent current is very small, losses associated with quiescent current can be ignored. So the power loss of the regulator is just the power loss in the CMOSFET. Here V in is the input voltage you are feeding to the regulator, V out is 3.3 volt and I out is the current you are drawing from the regulator. Maximum power dissipation capability of the regulator IC can be calculated using equation 6.3. For the MCP700 regulator, maximum continuous junction temperature is 125 degrees Celsius and thermal resistance from junction to ambient for the T192 package is 92 degrees Celsius per watt. Plugging in the values, we find that maximum power dissipation capability of the device is approximately 1.1 watt. So that's all I wanted to share about this regulator. I hope you find this video useful and have fun with your project.